Okay, now we'll discuss about nested try. Create a new class. New class nested try. And then we want the main method and then finish. Now we will create a try inside another try block. Now for that, let's just assume that if uh, we are handling two different uh, exceptions. Like try LBA. For each and every try, there is a catch block. So that's the reason it is giving me this exception or insert finally to complete the block. Okay, and here I would say integer a is equal to args dot length. So whatever the argument that I'll be passing, I'll calculate the length of it. And then I'll create an another integer, which I would divide by the uh, length of the argument that I'll be passing. Maybe I would say 2 by a or something. So now I have two integers. So this integer might cause an exception. Um, many arithmetic exceptions. If I don't pass anything, so it would be 2 by 0, so or null or anything. So for that, I would be catching an uh, arithmetic exception. Catch block arithmetic exception at E. And now here I would say this is how arithmetic exception is caught. And what is that? I would like to print it out. So this is one try and class catch block as we have discussed. Now if I want to have an in nested try here, using the input argument, I would try to have an another nested try. Like again, try if a, the input argument is equals to 1. What do I have to do in this one is a change the value of a equals to a by a minus a. This might also this will also throw a mathematic exception because it's a divided by a minus a. And then else if a a is not equal to a, what I have to do is I want to catch another exception because here I'm already Got, I'm already got arithmetic exception. Now I want to catch like array index out of one, some of any other exception just to check. So I would say and create another integer c, which is an array, and then I would declare it as uh, I would initialize with a value one, and then if I say c42 index value is 99. Here it is array index out of bounds exception. It has to throw. Now I would catch array index. So these menu items are popped when I say control space. Control space array index out of bounds exception. And here I will say it is out array index out of bounds exception is cut. Plus E, Control A, Control Shift F for formatting. Okay, so this is try inside. We have a try and a catch block, and then for try I have a catch block. So whatever the exception that is thrown in the array, it would be caught here, and whatever the arithmetic exception that is thrown here, here in this line. Let me show the line numbers. In from in line 15 or line 12, it would be thrown here. This is warning because uh, I have never used this way. Now let me print the value so that we will have a clear idea. The out value of B is, and then says out value of A is. What is the input A and B that I am passing? Okay, and then here. Uh, would you, so this is value of E and value of B. Now, if I right click and say run as Java application, I would say arithmetic exception is caught. The reason is zero because I have not passed any argument. Okay, and now 
how would I know when this array index out of this arithmetic exception is caught? Okay, uh, if because I have not passed anything, it uh, if it's not equals to one, so it went directly to this. Be uh, it did not even go to this try block. I would say because I did not pass any input argument, it did throw an exception right here. So I would say that's the reason our print statement did not work. Now I would say run as run configurations and in here I need to turn as the try argument would be uh, Anusha testing nested try and then apply and then run. So now the length of the input that I've given is four. The value of this is zero because two zero and uh, then the array index out of bounds because a is not e is equal not equals to one it's equals to four it goes into this block. This block is array index out of bounds exception. So this is nested. Try. Okay, you can try with different exceptions, and you can have inside this try, you can have one more try and catch block. And apart from this try and catch block, you can have one more try and catch inside this. So you can have nested try and catch. Okay, so that is try, catch, and we have also discussed finally in our previous session. Now let's discuss about the keyword throw. So what is throw keyword? If we want to explicitly throw our own exception, then we use throw. So I would say testing throw and then create this and then I would say finish. Now in order to create uh, an example for this one, what I would do is I've created another class just to be that I will be clear with different uh, keywords how we are using it. Now let's instead of taking arrays or integers, let's take a string. And um, what I'll do is I'll declare a string and initialize it. And then I would compare that string with another string. If that is not equal, I would throw an exception. Otherwise, I would just print out. So for that, you would say string input value that we are passing is testing through keyword. Okay, and then now I need to compare it to any other one. So I have within the try block if the input value that I've given dot equals I want equal ignore key equals equals any other object that I can give that would be testing another throw keyword so now it shouldn't be uh, if this is not if this is equals to this one okay, say if this equals to this so testing throw keyword equals to this uh, not equals I would say uh, let me do this. Testing throw keyword only over here. If testing throw keyword equals to testing throw keyword, then I would say sys out input matches. Else, now I would say because they are not matching, now I want to throw an exception. What? How will I do? Using the throw keyword. Throw. What is the exception? Uh, the runtime exception, I can say. So throw new run control space. I would I have all these options. Runtime exception. I can pass an argument because I'm uh, explicitly throwing it. What is that? Throwing runtime exception using throw. Okay. Now uh, I have use the throw keyword and uh, through the runtime exception. Now I need to catch that. For catch I need to have the uh, catch block. So catch what is the exception that I need to catch? Runtime exception. So I can have uh, 
exception i can use the exception main or i can use the runtime exception i will say run runtime exception r and then says out catch runtime exception and then I would print it R. Okay. Now let me say this format a little bit. Okay. And now if I say run as run Java application. Input matches. Now how would I throw it? If uh, if this doesn't throw. So now input is matching. So this is not throwing it. Now I would say throws. Run as Java application. Now it goes into the else condition because it did not match. Did not match, so I want to throw it explicitly. So because I used throw, it went to the it it drew the runtime exception which is caught by the catch block. So catching the runtime, I uh, did not mention space. So that's the reason. Let me do this. So catching runtime exception, this one plus. R whenever uh, after that whenever we say this because we are throwing this um, exception it will display it right here throwing runtime exception. What if we have? What if we don't use this and then save it and then run it? It would just say catching runtime exception this one. So if you want anything explicit, right? using throw keyword, okay, and then right click run as Java application using the throw keyword. So this is using the throw keyword, and this one we have seen using the nested try, and this one we have used we saw using testing try and catch and finally. So. There are so many exceptions like unchecked, dot checked exceptions. Unchecked is like arithmetic, array index, out of bounds, array store, illegal argument. And runtime exceptions are like class not found, illegal access, or interpreted. So there are a bunch of exceptions that you can look into in the API. In the next session, we'll be discussing about throws.